Hi guys, here we are on Marmanor Golf Resort. Just gonna do a quick walk around of a two bed, two bath apartment. So just starting us off on the landing here. So you've got your lift as always, and then of course the staircase. The lift there does go down to the underground car park. This one does come with a parking space. Just gonna try and give you an idea. So those familiar with uh, Marmanor Golf, this is on the kind of first run of apartments from the back gate. So basically, all of the boulevard and the spa supermarket is just that way here. Um, so literally probably about an eight minute walk uh, down to the boulevard and down to all the facilities. So good position to be in. So just coming into the apartment here, got your main entrance in. Kind of situated behind the door, you've got your media box uh, for your internet. Just above that, your fuse box and then your buzzer entry system. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kitchen to the right of us. It's an open plan kitchen lounge, really large as you can see. Um, certainly the biggest of any of the resorts, the apartments in here. You've got your oven hob extractor, sink, space there for fridge freezer. But you do have a lot of space on the other side of that little cupboard there, so you could actually get an American fridge freezer if you preferred. Little window here out to the back. Space under counter there for dishwasher and washing machine. And then your boiler just in the cupboard here. All electric on mum and all. All the ceilings are false, so you can see the light fittings just hang out throughout the property. So you can put any kind of light fittings you want in there, anything from spotlights and things like that that are obviously much cheaper. Uh, but anything is uh is really available to use on these uh, full ceilings. So as always, all of the electrics are new, never been used. They're not guaranteed, unfortunately, as this one is a bank repossession. However, we've had very, very few problems in the past with anything not working. See this big lounge area. Air conditioning there, all ducted in as opposed to individual units, all works off a central system. Again, it is a bank repossession, none of this is actually guaranteed. Um, so I would kind of bear in mind that there might be some issues with the air conditioning. It's probably been about 50-50 as it stands, uh, and some of them, the compressors have obviously gone where they've been sitting on the roof for a lot of years. Uh, but if you talk to our office, we'd be able to help you more with kind of pricing and things like that should it need replaced. Unfortunately, we never know if they're gonna work until the power is on in the apartment, so nothing can be checked, unfortunately, until they are purchased. You can see again all the full ceilings. Nice big lounge here. <coughs> Excuse me. Got your TV points just down the bottom here. So set up for your TV to go along that wall. And then your sofa along the other wall. Dining table and chairs kind of in this area. Big massive doors there out to the terrace. But I'm gonna go out to the terrace in a bit. Just gonna continue our little walk around first. So as we go in, we've got a little kind of almost hallway corridor area where the two bedrooms and the main bathroom. So this is the main kind of communal bathroom, I would call it. Um, you've got your shower in there. Uh, your toilet obviously and your sink area again you can see it's full ceilings again we can help you with things like shower and um, glass screens and things like that because they come as they would have done from the builder with just the tray and um, because they're sold basically as new exactly as they would have come off plan first door next to the bar from here is the guest bedroom nice size bedroom been set up there you can see for a double or king size Certainly get two singles, no problem if you'd rather. And then you've got this, uh, excuse my finger there, just right in front of the lens, you've got this terrace, small terrace to the back here. Enough for table and chairs, no problem at all. And that just looks out to the front end of the block. Fairly pleasant outlook. We go in front, back into the room, you've got the big double wardrobes in front of us. Use the big light. Light fixture wires. So you've got these nice big wardrobes here. T 
TV points would be on the other side, opposite the kind of foot of the bed, just down here. And then you can see all the ducting for the air conditioning, just at the top there and also at the bottom there as well. So we come out of the guest bedroom, back to the little hallway area. That bathroom we looked at on the right, straight across into the master. So we come in the master, just close this door, we've got the big wardrobes just to the left. So kind of in the little corridor, you can see you've got an air conditioning uh, duct there as well. Again, these big doors, you've got that little corridor. Another air conditioning unit here. Uh, coming out with air conditioning ducts rather and then that goes right out into this nice big master bedroom again set up for a double or a king so that was the wind banging the door there and then you've got the again the tv points just at the foot of the bed the same as the guest bedroom this one's got an ensuite though that's what really differentiates it from the other one you've got your double vanity units here got a three quarter bath there with a shower above it and then you've got the toilet and the bidet as well there these double shower units there as well double shower units double sink units as well it's a nice big bedroom again this has got the double doors out to the terrace i'm just going to kind of walk us back through have a last kind of quick look at your bearings so your master bedroom with the ensuite wardrobes to the right out the door, communal bathroom to the left, guest bedroom straight opposite us. I'm going to close that because that got caught in the room. And then out to your lounge, massive lounge, kitchen to the left of us. That was the entrance in there, just the left of the little corridor towards the main door. It's a really large apartment here, massive lounge. A good idea from here of where we are in terms of size and then you've got straight out to this huge terrace terrace is actually southwest facing but you can see the sun's already starting to creep onto it it's only not even half 12 yet in the afternoon which is brilliant so you've got these little kind of turret space here which a lot of people close off um, and make into like a storage unit you can do whatever you want you've actually got two on this terrace it's a huge terrace much bigger than normal you can see you've got a second one the other side again you can leave them as they are but they do give you options you can close them off uh, for the storage so plenty of storage options available on this one but you can see from this side real nice big terrace this is the entrance in of course to the bedroom so that's the master bedroom and then of course the lounge where we just came out of and a fabulous view out onto the golf course and a nice southwest orientation perfect that concludes our tour um, any questions please come back to the office thank you